Prop gallery events turns places like gymnasiums or conference rooms into spectacular party spaces with homemade props, a world-class collection of drapery, and a dedicated staff of specialized employees. Owner Greg Olson says Halloween is normally one of the busiest times of year. Well, on a normal day like today, midweek like this, we would have a production crew in here getting everything ready, getting spider webs and, and all the different uh, specialty props. But after COVID shut down most events last year, his business spiked this summer as people partied. He was booking more events than ever, but then ran into a problem. And the challenge became finding enough staff to support our key leads, our key installers, the key designers who make all these weddings so terrific. We just had a hard time finding those support people. Olson says he's kept wages competitive over the years. He's tried finding staff through temp companies and ads, but nothing has worked. It wasn't COVID and canceled events that did him in, but the labor shortage. I thought, you know, it, it probably makes sense that I just shut this business down, contact my key clients and my friends in this industry, and just let them know we had a really, really, really good run. This past Sunday, Olson set up his last event. And I lost it. I mean, the tears are coming down my eye because I realized that this was really the last time that I was going to be in a position to enjoy all the excitement, the fun of, of doing decor for all these large events. His hope is that a larger company will acquire Prop Gallery and keep the business going. But for now, it's so long to the business he's known and loved for 23 years. There's not many people to do what we do, so there'll be a void. In Kent, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.